What's up YouTube, Race Nation TV here, and today I'm going to be telling you whether or not I think you should buy Tony Stewart's All-American Racing. Now just like I did for the Tony Stewart Sprint Car Racing game, I'm going to be telling you the good and the bad of the physics, customization, the career mode, and I'll just tell you overall my feelings of the game. So let's get started. First off, let's dive into the physics of the game. I'm going to start with the good. This is this game is just much better than the sprint car racing game. The car feels so much better. That it'll, it'll not naturally slide into the corners rather than just turning left a lot. You don't need a setup like you did for the sprint car game, really. You can drive the car and have fun with it, and it feels like a dirt car. The throttle input matters more, and then even things down to the visuals on the car, the dirt splatting on, uh, still don't have like tear-offs or anything like that, but just... The overall physics feels so much better. It feels like a natural dirt car. The body rolls because uh, it's a it's a modified or the the street stock or the legends car. I mean, it just it feels more like you're driving on dirt rather than you know how it was in the NASCAR heat games where you were just you had to turn right and it was harder. It felt like a challenge to get the car to slide. Here, it's just the car slides. The surface actually feels like it will allow the car to slide. It just it feels a lot more natural. Now, obviously, there's still a lot of bad. Like, the game could still use uh, different track states and conditions, like the track slicking up, the track, you know, just the the groove widening and being closed, you know, the, the top line still doesn't have a cushion, and, you know, it could have features like, you know, the track starting out unused, and then in the feature it's really wore out, you know, it just things like that, the track being different, just things in a dirt game that you would want and things that you would expect, just things like that that they could implement that would really improve the game and uh, how realistic it is. As well as the, the track changes, things. I think the, the damage physics still need improved. Uh, hitting the wall should really, you know, that should really be harmful or at least, you know, even though this game kind of falls more into an arcade kind of just a fun, you don't, you know, not taking it too serious, something, you know, something you can play, like a, a kid could play, I think, even though it kind of falls in that category, they should be sprinkling in some features that you'd see in a hardcore sim, you know, like, uh, like the Formula One games Codemasters made has done a great job of this, where, you know, uh, a younger person could still sit down and play it, but if you want to make it a hardcore sim, if you want to make it more realistic, and uh, more fun for someone older who understands more of the little intricacies in uh, in real life racing. Uh, I think they need to start be sprinkling things like that in. So you know the damage physics. You know have it if you hit the wall, if you hit it hard, like uh, if you hit it hard enough that in real life you'd be out of the race. Then, you know things like that. I think I think you know a lot of games need this. I it just I, I think that's something they should be really looking into. Is you know DNFs and stuff like that. Now let's already move on to the customization. I'm going to start with the good of that as well. Uh, customization in this game took the biggest leap of improvement in the entire game. Every other in every other category, customization just wins. All right, the, this this customization here is just man. The improvement is crazy. I, I love being able to choose any number I want, and I like to add a letter. You can add a letter. You can choose any number design. Uh, the little background textures over the design. I, I just, I love that you can, you can create a design that is unique to you, and there is a slim, slim, it's still possible, but a slim possibility that someone else is using the exact same paint as you, and just, I love, I love that about this game. Uh, just, a, a fantastic job on this front, you know, the helmet designs, you know, the, ev everything, everything about the customization is, the improvement of it is just awesome. I love it. Uh, it's just really, if I go to the bad, there's nothing really bad at all. I mean, if you look at customization in games like Forza or the the old Eutechnics uh, NASCAR games, where it was just a free paint booth, like a free roam paint paint booth that makes stuff with shaves. Not, I mean, yeah, obviously this game could be improved, but you look at the last five NASCAR Heat games, and you look at the customization. And that's pretty much what the customization was like in the in the sprint car game released in February. Uh, the step up from that to this. I mean, this the, the customization in this game is what I always complained about the NASCAR Heat games about. Is like, man, 
it would be so easy to do something like this. And they, and you know what? They did it. And, you know, props to them in second release. They got this customization paint booth thing figured out. And I, I, that's really promising to me. And I just, obviously, like I said, there's still room for improvement on this front. You know, you look at Forza as an example. The Forza paint booth is just, in any game, exceptional. Obviously, you don't count in games like iRacing because I can just go make whatever I want in Photoshop. How much better can you get from that? But, like, you're just looking at a normal, you know, normal everyday video game. I mean, yeah, this this definitely, definitely gets a good thumbs up for me. Now, let's get into the career mode. Uh, the good of the career mode in this game is they have added the ability to hire drivers. Uh, it was, and they also include certain prices and, and talent that they have. Uh, if you want a driver that is more talented, you pay more money for him and so on. Uh, you can hire another driver on your team. You can literally, you can have different cars and different series, and it's just the. It, it kind of reminds me of the career features that were added to this year's F1 2020 game, uh, which is just magnificent. Uh, it, it's awesome. They really revamped the career mode here, and it just it, it's so cool because it makes sense. Because with Tony Stewart being a team owner in both NASCAR and sprint car racing, uh, the career mode really focuses on the financial aspect. Of owning a team and the sponsorships and all that stuff it's just it has a lot of similarities to the sprint car game like no lot and like no doubt it is you know they just they sprinkled in a few extra things but it's just the career mode in that game was really good in the first place and here I, it just yeah they they really pieced it together well it's fun to play yet yeah, it's it's really hard it's it's really hard to start from the bottom with how slow your car is in the beginning to work up into the you know big blocks and really be winning you know it's it's really difficult uh they really focus on the financial aspects and just different things uh that some games you know don't have so uh, they, they they did a really good job and if you really want to have fun playing career if that's your thing then this game is perfect i mean really in the career mode there's nothing bad in this department either obviously there's always improvement you know uh, but what i'm specifically looking for in a lot of these things is improvement from the last game uh, because this is still a brand new title, and this is the second release. Although they've worked on a lot of games previously, uh, you know, this is just, they're always learning. I want to see them learning. I want to see them, you know, improving the game enough to where you can get excited for the new release. Because I said this in my first impression video. You look at what's happened to the Madden franchise, where everyone's just angry because they know, you just, you already know, Madden 21, 21 just came out. And you already know that Madden 22 next year is going to be the same thing. So I, that's that's just what I don't want to see. NASCAR Heat had the same thing where it's like you pretty much already know a year in advance what the game's going to be like. And, you know, I just little tiny things is what I look for that just shows that they are improving and that they're listening to what people actually want. Now, just talking about the overall game, I have a few key things that I want to talk about that I couldn't really put in another category um so the first and number one thing this is the weakest part of this game uh is i wish we had real life tracks uh so in the sprint car game a couple months after release we got knoxville in a dlc and that was exciting but yet we get this new game and there are zero real life tracks here so when we got knoxville it was like oh this might open up the possibility to get more real life tracks and here we are once again and then it also i just i wish there were more tracks that at least resembled real life tracks i mean there's a lot of tracks in this game that resemble like phoenix or there's like a rectangle shaped track thankfully they didn't put a road course in this game but it's just when i'm playing this game the one thing that kind of turns me down from wanting to get on and play it is you know there's only a handful of tracks that kind of just i enjoy that i kind there's only a handful that i know like this is realistic. This track's bumpy. This track is multiple, this has good racing. It's just, you know, it just kind of dwindles down to there's not a lot, you know. The the so the track selection is definitely the weakest part of the game, and it it doesn't even have Eldora. That is a big complaint. Tony Stewart owns Eldora. You would think it'd be the cover track. There was literally a video game called Road to Eldora, and it's it's not here. It doesn't make any sense. You know, maybe there's some sort of contract confliction with with nascar heat but then again outdoors and i so what 
Well, yeah, I don't know what the, the holdup is there. I just, it doesn't make any sense. Now on to the final question. The big question, the whole point you're here. Should you buy it? I say yes. This game is fun enough to play that it's worth $30. But it, I, that's all I'd say it's worth, not more or less. I mean, if you're a big dirt racing fan, you're at the track every weekend, and you don't have iRacing, then I'd be surprised if you already don't have this game. I mean, also, a little advice, if you are thinking about buying it, a compilation disc version of both the Sprint Car game and All American Racing is coming to Walmart on September 22nd for, I believe, the same price. So you're basically getting the both games for the price of what you'd pay right now for one. Uh, so I would definitely keep that in mind. And I'm actually interested if it'd be a compilation where you pick between playing either or if they'll merge you know them both together so you'll have the three sprint car series and the late models in the same yeah, that i mean maybe they'll make improvements on the on the sprint car game you know so i'm kind of interested in that uh it, that's what i'd say i mean the big thing about this game is you know only being big block modifieds i wish it would have been super late models uh, and you could have included a series which would you know you could possibly get real life drivers because that's what excited me over the over the sprint car game was was an actual all-star circuit champions game with actual drivers in there that was you know that, i thought that was really cool and unique so if you're on the fence of buying it i would say you know uh wait for the compilation disc version at walmart uh but you know if you maybe have another sim maybe you have something else i would say maybe hold off until the next release uh if there's something more advanced but overall this is a good game uh, I definitely don't regret buying it, and, uh, you know, just hopefully, hopefully what I have, hopefully my opinions and uh, what I think has helped you on your path to deciding whether or not to purchase it. So, if you enjoyed this video, if this helped you out, uh, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more motorsports content, including dirt racing, IndyCar racing, NASCAR, and sports car racing. So until then, let me know what you think about the game in the comments, and I will see you in the next one.